Aloha and welcome to this meditation sleep hypnosis for quitting smoking, a 30-day practice. And as always, if you like the video, please subscribe to support the channel. Many people are discouraged by the very thought of having to quit and have great fear when they think about it. So I'm asking you to have some faith in yourself and just give this session a chance. Listen to this recording for 30 days as you go to sleep at night. So let's get started. Take a moment to settle in. Get into a comfortable position. And notice how you're feeling. How are you doing right now in this moment? How does your body feel? Scan your body for a moment now, starting at your feet, simply noticing how your body is feeling. Notice your feet, your ankles, your legs, your hips. And continue scanning your body, moving upward towards your stomach, back and chest, your sides. Mentally scan your hands and arms, and shoulders, your neck, your head, and your face. Where is your body the most tense? Where is your body the most relaxed? Just notice the state of tension and relaxation in your body. Notice how your body relaxes bit by bit without any effort on your part. See how your muscles become a little bit looser, less tense. Naturally, just because you are taking a moment Sit quietly and relax. Without any effort or input from you, without even trying. As you breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Keep breathing deeply, slowly. It feels good to take deep, calm breaths. And just relax for a moment while you notice your breathing. Just notice your breath for a moment. Focus your eyes on one spot on the ceiling, keeping your eyes there. I'm going to count down from five to one, and with each number, your eyes will grow heavier. Five, you feel a slight pull against your eyelids. Four, you notice now a changing focus of your eyes as you continue to look at that one spot. Three, your eyes may be blinking now as if they're struggling to stay open. Two, your eyelids are heavy now as your eyelids are closing. One, your eyes close. Your eyes closed completely as you relax deeper into comfort. 
As your eyes are closed, you can relax more deeply and just enjoy how comfortable you are. Just enjoy the comfort of doing something as simple as sitting there or lying there with your eyes closed. And you can let yourself remember just how comfortable you really can be. Because you're taking this time to allow yourself to go into a deeper state of relaxation and to make all these changes for yourself. And you've made a conscious decision about the changes that you are making for yourself. And you're using this time to implement those changes for you. So this really is time just for yourself. It's not time for friends or family or anyone else. So give yourself permission to really enjoy this positive time for yourself. Your unconscious mind knows just what to do just how to do it so it doesn't really matter whether you consciously allow yourself to go deeper into the state of relaxation or not your subconscious mind knows how to breathe deeply and relax and you can expect that part of you always to be there part of you that is aware of this moment in the present. As you breathe in and breathe out, there's part of you that knows about the future. And soon you will have the confidence knowing change is inevitable because you and I both know that changes are always happening and important things can really change your life for the better several changes are already beginning to occur within you Some of those changes you can be aware of, and some of those changes are taking place on a much deeper level. So as I count down now from 10 to 1, imagine yourself stepping down a beautiful stairway. It can be any kind of stairway you like can be majestic, leading down to a great ballroom, or it can be old and rickety, leading down to a beautiful rainforest. Breathe in, breathe out, ten, stepping down the first step finding yourself going deeper into comfortable relaxation now. Nine. Even further down. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, going deeper into relaxation. Four, 
three, two, even further, and one, at the very bottom of those stairs now. You can find yourself stepping out into a beautiful, expansive place. A place of absolute safety and calmness. And it really doesn't matter if that place of safety is real or an imagined place. A place from your memory or your imagination. This place is yours. Your special, private inner world. The heart of your unconscious or subconscious reality. It's the very control room dictates all of your actions and behaviors. This place for you is your place of power and control. And it's always representing safety and calmness and conscious decision making. This place of control and safety allows you the deeper power and the deep decision-making process over your entire being. And when it comes to smoking, it is a behavior that you have chosen to cease yourself. You've chosen consciously to stop smoking entirely. There are often many triggers that can be linked to your previous past behavior of smoking. I don't know exactly what your personal triggers are. Whenever you have chosen to smoke in the past. But I do know that some people describe those behaviors or identify those triggers for various reasons. Perhaps in the past, you've chosen to smoke in order to keep yourself from slowing down. Perhaps for you in the past, just handling a cigarette was part of the enjoyment. Or perhaps the old version of you found smoking cigarettes to be in some way pleasant or relaxing. Sometimes it's stress. Or you might feel it's the only time you have to yourself. When you have a break at work, or when you're driving a car, or after you eat. All of these triggers for you, you can just bring them up within your mind's eye. Almost as if you're watching a movie. The power of your unconscious mind can bring up and bring to light all of these behaviors that may have existed for you until now. Maybe you've smoked in the past to perk yourself up. Maybe in some way you've chosen to smoke in the past when you've been upset about something, or feeling anxious, or nervous in some way. Maybe you've smoked in the past out of habit and found yourself putting a cigarette to your mouth and not even remembering how it got there. Perhaps you've smoked in the past because you felt down or sad or worried or uncomfortable. But I do know for you that you can find yourself going backwards now even further backwards. It's as if you're progressing backwards through time. Back to your younger years. And you 
you can find yourself coming to the very first time that you smoked. It may be like the pages of a book turning backwards, where you can see yourself rising above this present time, moving backward through time, back to your younger years, back as your unconscious mind brings up the very first time that you picked up a cigarette, the very first time you chose to smoke. When I count down from three to one, I want you to find yourself at the first time that you can recall smoking. Three two, one. Let yourself see what you see. And let yourself feel what you feel. Hear all the sounds around you. The first time you chose to smoke. You can observe that scenario as it plays before you in your mind. Just watch and learn and come to an understanding of what exactly was going on for you in those moments when you first chose to smoke. If you'd like, you can bring your current self into that situation. Find yourself going back there and stepping into that situation. Find yourself standing beside your younger self who is about to choose to take up that first cigarette. You'd like to have a conversation with this younger self. Just listening to whatever your younger self is saying to you. And then you can ask your younger self, why are you choosing to smoke? And just listen to any of the reasons that may come to you now. Whether it's in the form of words, or feelings, or images, or sensations, or sounds, you can ask your younger self, why are you choosing to smoke? You don't need to add a judgment, just be open and receptive. Just observing with your current self, whatever it is that your younger self has to say to you. And once you've done that, you can go over to your younger self and thank your younger self for revealing those deeper reasons, giving you all of those deeper understandings of who you were where you were and what was going on when you first made that decision to smoke. If you like, you can give yourself a gentle hug or a shake of the hand. Whatever is meaningful for you. Because you know that your younger self had specific reasons smoking in the first place, but you know now that your adult self also has reasons for choosing a different path, a different direction, and as you thank your younger self, you can float up again out of this picture. Find yourself moving forward in time. 
forward in time back to the present day reality. And when I count from three to one, you'll find yourself back in the form of your current self. Three, two, one. Back to the present. Still relaxing deeper and deeper. As you find yourself once again in your control room, I'd like you to bring up a new image in your mind's eye, a new scene in your imagination. You can find yourself standing at the fork of two roads, one pathway leading to your left and one pathway leading to your right. And as you think about all of the problems and all of the concerns that smoking brings into your current life, you can think about how smoking has robbed you of so much energy. Smoking has robbed you of so much money. Smoking has robbed you of so much health. Smoking is taking so much of your own sense of control of your own life. As you look down that road on the left, that represents all of the negatives about continuing smoking. And you know that that can be an easier road for you to take. You could just coast down that road because it's a path you've been following for quite some time by continuing to smoke. But you also know that it's a path of misery and that road goes to a darker place. But you can also see the road to your right. It's a bright and healthy, more productive road. A road where you can feel in control. It's a road of freedom. A road of health. A road of air that feels pure in your lungs. A road of life. It's the road where you are in control of yourself. It's the road that you have decided to take as a non-smoker. But take your mind back now to that road on the left because that road means carrying all of the problems associated with continuing to smoke. And really allow yourself to feel the burden of that self-destructive behavior. Feel your desire to be free from all of the ill effects of hurting yourself by smoking and poisoning your body. And in a moment, going to count down from three to one and you will find yourself walking down the low road of being out of control for one more year three two one and here you are after one more year of being out of control of feeling miserable in every way because you have continued to smoke. And you feel the weight of disappointment in yourself. And you notice the little things that litter this painful road. The countless cigarette butts, the burns in clothing and furniture, and the smell of cigarettes looks on people's faces that can smell you. You see at your feet a road littered with cigarette butts 
and empty packs of cigarettes. And you see others that you know who do smoke. And maybe it's the ones you've smoked with in the past. Or others that you've seen gathered outside of buildings. And the sight of them now makes you feel sorry for them because they're stuck here on this low road of continuing to smoke. And in front of you, you find yourself standing before a giant mirror. A giant mirror which reflects to you yourself as you exist as a smoker in the past. And you can ask, Am I pleased with myself? Am I happy to have chosen another year of smoking? Do I feel better about this decision as I stand on this lower road? Do I feel healthier or do I feel worse? Do I look better? Or do I look worse? Do I feel smarter? Or do I feel worse? I'm going to count down from three to one. And you'll find yourself five years along this road. Five years into the future along this road. Three, two, one. And here you are, five years along this low road. And you can bring forth all of the effects of having chosen to smoke for another five years. How unhealthy do you feel? How worried about the effects of putting nicotine into your body every day are you? How hopeless do you feel? Now look to your feet. How much higher is the pile of cigarette butts? How much higher is the pile of empty cigarette packs? Maybe you even hate the sight of them now. Maybe you even hate the smell. And look to all of those same people. That small crowd of people who have joined you here five years into the future. Who have also chosen to continue smoking. How do they look? Do they look healthier or worse? Do they look pleased with themselves or worse? How badly have they been affected by having made that decision to continue smoking for another five years? Again, I'm going to count down from three to one. And you will find yourself 10 years along this road, continuing to smoke. Three, two, one. 10 years into the future. 10 years along this road of darkness and ill health continuing to take poison into your lungs. 10 years down this road. How do you feel? How do you look? How does your voice sound? How has the smoke changed your vocal cords? How do you sound to others?
How much higher is that pile of cigarette butts at your feet? How much more yellow are your fingertips and teeth from inhaling the smoke? And again, look at the crowd of smokers who have joined you 10 years here into the future. How much worse did they look? How sorry for them do you feel? How much less health do they have? Maybe there are fewer. How do they sound? In a moment, I'm going to count back from five to one. You will come all the way back from 10 years. Back to five years. To one year. To the present day. To find yourself standing at that fork in the road. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And here you are, standing at that fork in the road. And you can see that dark low road to your left that you haven't yet traveled. But you can also see that bright, healthy, fresh air road to your right that you also haven't yet traveled. And I know, and you know, that the road to your right is the road that you have consciously chosen to step towards. In a moment, I'm going to count down from three to one, and you can watch yourself taking the very first step, just one step towards that road to your right. Three, two, one. You've taken one step towards that road to the right. And you can allow yourself to keep walking, almost as if you were compelled forward, pulled along by a higher energy that is pulling you down the higher road to the right. You can smell all of that fresh air, almost as if it's a clean, pure, rejuvenating mist that is calling you along. Maybe there is even a sound that is compelling you to walk along the higher road to the right with all that healthier, fresh air. And you feel yourself drifting and walking along this higher, healthy road. And you know that 20 minutes down this road, and it's been 20 minutes since you've stopped smoking, the benefits already starting to mount. 20 minutes down this road, your blood pressure drops to normal. 20 minutes down this road, your pulse rate drops to normal as you continue to drift and dream compelled along this road. It's been eight hours since you stopped smoking. The carbon monoxide levels in your blood have dropped to normal. The oxygen levels in your blood increase back to normal. Twenty-four hours down this road. The chance of any heart attack has decreased. As you're compelled down this road. Forty-eight hours later. And here you are. 
Your sense of smell and taste have improved now. You can smell that fresh air. How wonderful does it feel to be receiving this perfect, pure, energized oxygen into your body. Two weeks now down this road. Your circulation has improved. Exercise and walking is becoming so much easier. Your lung function is increased by up to one third. One month down this road, you can find yourself looking in a mirror once again. How do you look one month later, having been cigarette free for one month? How much better does your face look? How much easier can your lungs breathe? How much more energy do you feel within you? And as I count down from three to one, you will find yourself one year along this high road. Three, two, one, and here you are. One year later, an entire year since you have chosen to stop smoking permanently for the rest of your life. How much better do you feel? Who are you associating with now being completely smoke free? And what kind of activities are you doing for yourself now? How do you sound? What kind of things do you say to other people now? I'm going to count down from three to one and you'll find yourself five years along this healthy road. Three, two, one. And you're at the five year point. Five years since you've consciously chosen to be smoke free permanently. How good do you feel? How healthy do you look? You can bring forth now all the effects of that positive, empowering choice. And you can really allow yourself to feel the effects of that incredible, strong decision. The decision that has put you in charge of your life. The decision that allows you to feel so good. And you can take great pride and pleasure, feeling wonderful in each and every way, knowing that you've made a permanent change for yourself. Knowing that you couldn't even try to imagine going back to the old way. The fact is, the more that you try, the more that you choose to be smoke free. And the more that you try to remember what it was like to be a smoker back then, the easier it becomes for you to keep moving down this road of being smoke free permanently and feeling good in every way. Each and every muscle nerve and cell in your body is rejuvenating and energizing and your own healing systems have now activated within you and 
and as I count down from three to one, you can find yourself at the 10 year point along this high road of success. Three, two, one. You are now 10 years down the road. 10 years since you made that empowering decision for yourself. 10 years you've been smoke free. 10 years you've been inhaling clean, fresh air into your lungs, into your body, and feeling good in each and every way. So you know now that smoking is something that you used to do. You know that your old self made that decision back then in your younger years, but it's so easy for you now to make new decisions for yourself in each and every way. And as you look at yourself in this mirror for one last time, 10 years down this road, you can reaffirm to yourself how healthy you look, how energized, how vibrant, how much more possibility you can enjoy in your energized life. And as I count backwards from three to one, you can float all the way back to the beginning of this road Three, two, one. And as you continue to drift and dream, all the time moving deeper into calmness and relaxation, you know if your mind wants to wander to other places, you can just let it. it makes no difference where your mind wanders to now. You're simply allowing yourself to relax in deeper and deeper ways. So you are allowing yourself to drift even deeper with each and every word that I say. You know that you are relaxing even deeper. And the more you relax, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the more you continue to drift down deeper. And you've decided to overcome the smoking habit for once and all because you are relaxing so well in this moment. You are finding that smoking is now a thing of the past. And your present desire to be a permanent non-smoker is so strong, so incredibly powerful that you will find it easy to stay calm and remain a permanent non-smoker. Smoking is now a thing of the past for you. You've decided to overcome the smoking habit and now you have. And so, from now on, in all situations, you are a happy, healthy, non-smoker. Wherever you are, and whatever you're doing. Because as far as you are concerned, smoking is a thing of the past. And it can be so easy to forget as you turn your attention to becoming more positive in each and every way. Because you are completely at ease and smoke free in all situations. You are 
happy and comfortable as a non-smoker. And if you see other people smoking, you will feel sorry for them. Because you know that many smokers would love to break the smoking habit, just as you have successfully done now. When you smell tobacco now that you are smoke free, you'll find that you'll be disgusted by that smell. You'll find that smell to be dirty and unhealthy to all of your senses. And if anyone offers you a cigarette or asks if you want to go smoke with them, you'll find yourself and hear yourself and see yourself saying, no, thank you. I don't smoke. And each time you say this, you'll feel so proud and so pleased with yourself. And you have every reason to feel proud and happy with yourself because you have defeated the smoking habit permanently. You've successfully defeated a habit which you know enslaves millions of people throughout the world. And therefore, each time you refuse to smoke, you will feel a great sense of pleasure and pride. From now on, in all situations, you are completely and permanently smoke-free. And you remain calm and relaxed in all situations as a non-smoker. And when you get up in the mornings, you feel calm and relaxed. When you're having a drink, whether it's tea or coffee or even something stronger, you feel calm and relaxed. When you're working, or driving, or even just relaxing, you feel calm and comfortable. Because smoking is a thing of the past. And your past is behind you now. Instead, you are already enjoying your new, healthy life. And looking forward to your new, healthier, happier, fitter life as a calm and more positive person. And from this moment on, in all situations and in all areas of your life, you are permanently smoke free. And you're enjoying your healthier, happier life. And you find that there are so many benefits to being smoke free. You find that you're feeling happier mentally and physically. And there's a good reason why you're feeling happier and healthier now that you've defeated the smoking habit permanently and you have and you know that you've accomplished something something worthwhile you've accomplished something that millions of people have achieved and because you have achieved this you have every reason in the world to feel much much happier And the reason why you are feeling fitter is very logical. It just makes sense to your conscious and unconscious mind. Now that you have defeated the smoking habit, and you have, you are freeing your lungs to breathe easily and effortlessly. And you recognize that your heart is growing stronger and stronger. 
your breathing is becoming better and better. And you're just feeling more alive in each and every way. More alert in your senses. It's just as if a weight has been taken off your shoulders. And another benefit to being permanently smoke free is that you are much more relaxed and a much more positive person. And you find that you can cope with anything now, with anybody, with any situation, in a more calm and much more confident manner than ever before. Another great benefit to being genuinely smoke-free permanently is that you are taking better care of yourself. You'll find yourself eating healthier, eating a well-balanced diet. You'll find that you're eating just the right amount of food to satisfy your body's needs and requirements. And you're enjoying the taste of your food even more. Enjoying the taste of any liquids that you drink because they're more enjoyable than ever before. And you're drinking just enough to satisfy your body's needs to keep you in excellent physical condition. There is a good reason why you are enjoying the flavor of your foods now, now that you've defeated the smoking habit. Your taste buds are no longer coated with that horrible nicotine and you are really enjoying rediscovering the taste and flavors of foods. These are all the benefits of being permanently smoke free. And if during the next couple of days you have the occasional thought about smoking you will know on a deep level, you will know that this is quite all right. It's just the tail end of the habit. As you take a deep breath, filling your lungs with clean, fresh air. You can hold the air in your lungs as long as possible and then slowly let the air out of your lungs. As you're letting the air out of your lungs, old negative and destructive thoughts are melting away, allowing you to carry on with whatever it is that you're doing in a calm, relaxed, and confident manner. Always very happy in the knowledge that you are permanently smoke-free. As you continue to drift, so calm and comfortable now, you know that your body is responding to the normal natural healing energies that are working to restore and rejuvenate and strengthen your body. The cells of your body are alive and know how to perform their tasks of sending nourishment to every part of your body where it is needed. Cells of your body know how to cooperate with each other, conduct the activity properly, to restore your body to normal healthy functions. Your unconscious mind is directing the minds of each of those cells to cooperate in unison with all the other cells in your body to heal your entire physical being. And your mind is being renewed with good thoughts, strong thoughts, positive health, healthy ideas that are causing you to become a much healthier person much stronger person, a much more in control person 
with every passing day. And you know that you can use your deeper imagination here to think of yourself with a healthy, strong body. Exactly the way you want your body to be. And you can see and think of yourself with that perfectly healthy body. Healthy mind, healthy lungs, and a perfectly healthy heart exactly the way you want your body to be. Knowing, realizing, recognizing, and believing. You look forward to each and every day of your smoke-free life with anticipation. And you'll find that each day will bring you greater happiness greater joy, greater opportunity to exercise your healthy body. You get up each morning feeling rested and refreshed, and you continue to have more energy, more strength, and more vitality with every day. Always sustaining your body with healthy food choices and healthy exercise choices and healthy practices of your mind. I wish you peace and happiness as you sleep through the night. Aloha.